Jen Thompson and this is Everyday Wellness and today I'm making chicken tenders or chicken fingers because this little lady requested them and I'm so happy to be able to do them um, for her because I can make them very much um, healthier and um, instead of grabbing the frozen chicken nuggets out of the fr freezer, which we do sometimes, this is going to be so easy and so much better, better for her. So of course uh, chicken is a protein. And I'm showing you this little container showing that this is a serving size of a protein. Um, very important for us to get enough protein in every day. It helps our organs, our muscles to stay strong. Um, and for a growing child, definitely they need a good source of protein. So I'm using chicken, of course, antibiotic free chicken over here. Um, and then we're going to dredge it into some egg, which is also a protein. And then I have a little mixture I'll talk about here briefly. Um, that will coat our chicken and we'll be put baking it before long and it's so simple, okay? So here we go. And the recipe I'm getting is right here off my phone. I pulled it off of Beach Body On Demand. There's a program on there for kids and fitness and um, they have great little kid-friendly recipes. So I pulled off almond-crusted chicken fingers because Finley requested it. Let's go, girl. Okay, so whenever you're doing um, the breading yourself, it can get a little bit messy um, but hopefully we'll, we'll get through this kind of easily. Ready? Yes. Alright, so I just laid out some chicken this morning. I'm going to dredge it in the egg real quick and then in the coating. Now this coating was so simple. Okay, there's one. It is flaxseed, crushed almonds, and a little bit of the crushed wheat um, flour. You could use breadcrumbs, and that's actually what the recipe called for. Um, I actually have some, but I think they're outdated, so I didn't want to use them. But I have gotten these before. You can also get uh, brown rice breadcrumbs at um, some stores, like Kroger has them, I know. So now we're going to get these coated up. All right, so so simple, and um, we're putting them in the oven for at 425 for 30 minutes, okay? And of course, we'll serve a vegetable today. What would be your vegetable of choice, Finley? Asparagus. Asparagus, she said, gladly. Asparagus is one of the healthiest vegetables for you. It really alkalines your body. Um, so that will be a great teaming agent here in this, this lunch today. My kids are home on break, so I wanted to make it a little bit more exciting for them to, um, at lunchtime. And so I actually pulled them each aside separately yesterday and asked them what they wanted. And so I pulled up the kid recipes online, like I have here in front of me, and everybody gave me a, a choice. So I wrote them all down, and that's what we're going to do all week long during this Christmas break. So I hope all these tips were helpful to you and know that it doesn't always have to be grabbed from the freezer to um, make a meal for your children. You can do it pretty quickly and make it so much healthier. Now the dipping sauce is also over here in the corner here. It is honey and Dijon mustard. That's it. Okay, that is a wonderful dip. Of course they could use ketchup. When you're using ketchup, be careful of the ingredients in your sauces. You do want to stay away from high fructose corn syrup. Other than that, pretty simple um, lunch, and the asparagus will be going uh, as well when we pop the chicken in the oven. Hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so I can keep sharing more um, wonderful recipes and other great tips with you, and I cannot wait to see you on the next video.